I saw um, online that you had um, done a die-in outside of the store where your father died. Um, what inspired that? The, pr the protesters. I, I, I came across that when I was watching the news and I seen these people laying down. So I came up with the idea and I said, hey, I should come up with something because I'm always in Staten Island doing a rally every Tuesday and Thursday trying to do a um, awareness and try to bring more people out there. How can I do this? And I came, I came up with a t Twitter account and I put the word out there and, um, you know, it just blew from there. What was the response to that um, action that you did? I got a lot of love, a lot of encouraging words, a lot of um, people calling me courageous, you know, saying that I was strong, that nobody could do it like that. And being, me being so young, 24 years old, and leading a protest, that meant a lot. That had a lot of impact on me. Some media has been very, um, I think, crass in the reporting on your father's death. Um, conservatives, Fox News, people saying that, you know, your, your father had health problems. Um, it, somehow that, that's like any fault of his whatsoever. What do you have to say to people that say that about your father? What do I have to say to people that say that, that, that about my father? I mean, I've seen the tape. How can he contribute to his own chokehold? And, and his room pipe was crushed. So how can he contribute to his own chokehold, his own death? It wasn't natural causes, because if it was natural causes, they would have stated that on the New York report. But as on the report, they said it was homicide. And my understanding of homicide is somebody else killing another person, unless they changed it. The current under the surface makes the mainstream get so nervous. It's time for purpose, for news to serve us. Not with propaganda they use to hurt.